The program originally scheduled at this time will not be broadcast. The following program is sponsored by the Democratic Party of Cook County, Illinois, on behalf of Kennedy and Johnson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vince Garrity broadcasting from outside of the Chicago Stadium in the heart of Chicago, America's greatest city, where we are watching one of the finest political parades seen in this country as a salute to Senator John F. Kennedy, the next president of the United States. More than 300 beautiful floats, bands, and marching units are proceeding down a two-mile route here on Madison Street in Chicago in the parade sponsored by the Democratic Party of Cook County under the leadership of Chicago's mayor, Richard J. Daley. These floats represent all segments of Cook County's neighborhoods, young people, labor, women's groups, ward organizations, and the various nationalistic groups of Chicago. As you can see, the groups are out in front of the Chicago Stadium. It's been raining now for about four hours here in Chicago. Yet over a million people have lined up along Chicago along Madison Street, have joined in in this uh, great uh, parade. We were talking with Andy Frayne, the great crowd engineer. He tells us this is one of the greatest crowds that we have ever seen in the history of any parade here in Chicago. And of course, the young Democrats have just passed by. They had about 5,000 in the parade with them, about 5,000 inside of the Chicago Stadium now, more than 30,000 persons. More than 30,000 persons have been entertained by some of America's top uh, TV stage and stars of stage and screen. And uh, while waiting for the address of Senator John Kennedy, which will be heard on this station, that address will be broadcast over these stations. And be sure to stay tuned now. Now we're back out in front of the Chicago Stadium once again, as we said before. There are thousands of people, there are PT boats in the parade, and we have some of the outstanding candidates from the uh, state of Illinois who are going to join us now. We have Sam Shapiro, who is a candidate, candidate for lieutenant governor of the state of Illinois from Kankakee, Illinois. Sam, it's nice to have you with us. It's nice being here, Vince. This is about the most tremendous parade I have seen. And this looks like a wonderful evening and a grand victory for November the 8th for Senator Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Otto Kerner, Paul Douglas, and the entire state ticket. Now, uh, we notice that there's a lot of folks from downstate that are up here for the big parade today. You must have had some great receptions downstate. Oh, yes, we have. Uh, I traveled, and the state candidates traveled with the senator, and uh, we had tremendous crowds downstate. And I noticed a lot of the downstate people were up here uh, watching the parade, too. Well, Sam, there's no doubt about the parade being one of the greatest that we've ever had in Chicago, when people will turn out, as we said before, all the nationalistic groups, the independent groups, to stand in the rain and be part of this great parade for the next president of the United States, the next governor and lieutenant governor, and, of course, to the uh, next... Uh, we have the attorney, uh, next attorney general of the state of Illinois, Bill Clark, with us. Hello, Vince. How are you? Bill, we, uh, as we see uh, down the street here, no doubt the rain is getting a little bit heavier, but uh, it certainly is one of the greatest parades we've seen in a long time, isn't it? Vince, I, I was with the senator on his uh, last two caravans in Illinois. They were both tremendous, but this is the greatest thing that I have ever seen. The crowds are standing here in the rain, but they're enthusiastic. And it certainly looks like a, a, a great victory in November. Well, Bill, uh, of course, it's only a couple of more days, but the enthusiasm down in southern Illinois certainly was outstanding, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Everywhere we went in southern Illinois, we had crowds. Uh, anywhere Senator Kennedy goes, he seems to attract people. Uh, the enthusiasm really shows, and, and they're all out certainly tonight standing in the rain to wish him well. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank That's you, the Bill. attorney the candidate for attorney general of the state of Illinois. And now we have the candidate for secretary of state, Jim McLaughlin from Mount Vernon, Illinois, from Southern Illinois, Jimmy McLaughlin. Jim, it's nice to have you with us. It's wonderful to be here, Vince. How do you like this type of a reception? Isn't well, it great? Coming from way down south, Mount Vernon, why, I would say it's terrific. Great. Here we are with the parade, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in the parade. The Chicago police are now leading 
Mayor Daley and Jack Kennedy, as you can see, Senator Jack Kennedy is going by in an automobile with Sarge Driver, Mayor Daley, and there are so many people at this point, we can just about move, or they can just about move on the street. A motorcycle escort carrying, of course, the mayor, Jack Kennedy, and several of the candidates, and of course, the family, the family of uh, Jack uh, Kennedy. The crowds have just gone wild out here in front of the uh, Chicago Stadium. As you can see, there must be a quarter of a million people surrounding the Chicago Stadium at this time. As we said before, inside of the stadium, there are over 30,000. The crowds are just, just wild here. They've gone wild. There, there's all, all ages, all age groups are here. The young Democrats, we see the signs carry the leadership in the 60s. Welcome Jack, welcome Lyndon Johnson. And of course, you can see the crowds just surrounding us. We have Mike Hollett, the candidate for uh, state auditor. Mike, you're a great Since campaigner. Hawaii, I'm glad this to see you. How do you like this crowd? Isn't this something? This is the biggest reception ever given to a candidate in Chicago, bigger than they gave Roosevelt or Truman in years gone by. Mike, uh, what about the uh, what about the campaign downstate? How did they treat you? We had the biggest crowds downstate that ever treated a candidate for president, and it looks like a great victory uh, throughout Illinois. And how about Paul Douglas? Paul Douglas to win the greatest victory of his great political career. Thank you very much, Mike Hollis. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the number one senator from the United States, Paul Douglas, from Illinois. Paul? Friends, we had the biggest crowd tonight to greet Jack Kennedy in the history of Chicago, despite the fact that there was a drizzle. The tremendous crowd and the enthusiasm demonstrate beyond a doubt that Kennedy is going to carry Illinois by a very big margin. And uh, we're very happy to have uh, the next governor, the next governor of the state of Illinois, Otto Kerner. Governor? Nice to see you. We had a tremendous reception, and of course, it was all caused by that wonderful marshal that we have, Stephen Bailey. He did a terrific job. Well, Governor, it's all really taken us a much longer time to get here than we had originally anticipated because of the crowd. Governor, we want to thank you very much. I know you want to get into the speaker's platform inside of the Chicago Stadium. And as we go inside of the Chicago Stadium now, we see pictures of Mayor Daley, Lyndon Johnson, and of course, Jack Kennedy. And uh, there, as we said before, there's TV stars entertaining the group inside. Outside again, you can see this tremendous crowd. As I said before, there must be 250,000 people on the outside. Here is some more of the parade uh, coming along. The parade marshal is standing by, Steve Bailey, who is responsible for this group along with the Democratic Organization of Cook County. And of course, there have been over 300 marching bands. There must be 500 floats in the parade. We are just being mobbed in this area at this time. We see the buses bringing people into the stadium or to the front of the stadium. The stadium is loaded. And now we're back on the speaker's platform. We want to say hello to Steve Bailey, the marshal of this big parade. Steve, you did a great job. Thank you, Vince. Vince, we said a million yesterday and again today, but we're way over a million. We're close to two million. And thank you for your splendid cooperation on your radio station. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the next state's attorney of Cook County, the Dean of DePaul Law School, Dan Ward. Dan, it's yeah. nice to have you with us. Nice to see you, Dan. Uh, certainly, oh, a scene beyond description. I never thought we would be able to reach the stadium by TV time. The throng and the loop uh, just pressed about Senator Kennedy's car and all the other cars. And as I say, I didn't think we'd reach it. I think that the enthusiasm of the community certainly indicates a great, great victory. You know, this man is not only a candidate for state's attorney, but let me say, and the dean of DePaul Law School, but he's a combat soldier. Wow. He's a great campaigner, and by the way, he's a family man. Is the family listening in tonight, Dan? I trust they are, Vince. Are I they trust they are. Now, how do you feel about the campaign? Oh, I think This we're, is your first campaign. You campaigned with Otto Kerner. Sam Shapiro, Ted Swinarski, and Joe McMahon. 
Now, how do you feel about this uh, great campaign? Well, it's certainly been very, a very challenging experience. I've been greatly impressed by the great numbers of our people who are so interested in this very vital question of governing ourselves. Speaking for the party, I'm certainly honored to be on a, with a, on a slate bearing candidates such as John Kennedy, who will be our next president, Otto Kerner, who will be one of the great governors in the history of Illinois, and the other fine candidates. And I think the attendance here tonight, the enthusiasm, indicates, as I've said, that we're on the threshold of a magnificent victory at every level of government for the people of our community. I think America is going to go forward, and it's going to go all the way. Dan, it's interesting to note that these are not all youngsters, that there's so many of the oh, older yeah. folks, so many old folks who yeah. have lined up to see uh, Jack Kennedy. Well, I think it's a remarkable demonstration to Senator Kennedy and uh, not to the personality of the man as much as to the ideas, the ideas of going forward, of a government that will meet the problems today. We in America certainly can't stand still. We go backwards or we go forwards. And uh, he offers ideas of progress for America. So I, I want to thank you very thank much, you, Dan Vincent. Ward. Thank you, that was Dan Ward, the candidate for third attorney of Cook County. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into the Chicago Stadium. We'll be back with you very shortly. Now, here we are outside again. We saw a big hat that was made into a float. It must be about 30 by 15. And, of course, it's got Kennedy and Johnson. I hope that uh, the rain isn't... Uh, too distracting from uh, some of these beautiful floats that we've seen from labor, from independent groups, and of course neighborhood groups who have uh, participated in the uh, parade uh, tonight. I don't know, we were going to march in line, uh, that was the order here, but for the benefit of those folks that are listening and watching television throughout the country, let me tell you that when Jack Kennedy came along with Mayor Daley in the car, why, it just seemed like everything that broke loose out here in front of the Chicago Stadium. The various candidates' floats are now reviewing the people here and the, are passing the reviewing stand. Our uh, vantage point is in front of gate number three of the Chicago Stadium, and it's raining. The rain has been coming down, as we said, for some... Uh, four hours here in uh, Chicago. Here's the first ward, the first ward organization going by with a very beautiful float with red lights up on the top. Beautiful band following. The American Legion band following the first ward organization float. that the Notre Dame band was in line here uh, this evening, as uh, were many of the independent, independent uh, legion, the independent groups from around Chicago. What was supposed to be a whiff in the street of about uh, uh, 30 feet is now narrowed down to uh, about 11 feet. The police are trying to hold the crowd back, and of course they are doing a good job, but the crowd is so enthusiastic, why they, uh, there's just no holding them, that's all. We see the 25th Ward organization coming along now. They've got a great big float with Go Go Corner, meaning Otto Corner candidate for governor of the state of Illinois. There are a lot of the youngsters in the parade. And I wish, I only hope you can see some of the fine older folks that are here tonight on the inside of the stadium. There's the big Kerner float, the Otto Kerner float from the 25th Ward of Chicago. Another beautiful float with Mayor Daley and Jack Kennedy. And look, ladies and gentlemen, 
There's actually an ice rink out here. The girls are skating on ice. This is sponsored by Vito Marzula. I'll tell you, this is a parade that could compete with the Tournament of Roses. And now we see turning out to be one of the biggest parades, as we said before, that Chicago has ever had. Here we have some of the youngsters. We have some of the youngsters from down below that are trying to get up to the platform now. We'll be talking with some of the uh, folks who have uh, who have witnessed this parade, have been in part of it, and as I said before, everybody is having a good time, they're just getting wild. Out on the street, we see the, uh, we see some jitterbugs dancing out on the street with the straight sign, vote straight Democratic. We can see a sign from one of the local unions, Local 1031, the IBEW, AF of L and CIO. We've just been informed that there's portions of the parade that have not even started from downtown Chicago as yet. And we know, as we said before, in the vicinity of the stadium here, there's better than a quarter of a million people with the estimate of Andy Frayne telling us that there is over 30,000 on the interior of the building. Douglas uh, station wagon that he campaigned throughout the state in in the past nine uh, months. The, uh, the parade is still moving right here in the Chicago the Stadium. It's coming from the east and proceeding to the west, and we might say that the many, many floats and many, many marchers have passed by the reviewing stand before we took to television. We see the, uh, we see the uh, group that has just come to the front of the stadium now, and they're uh, working their way in. Uh, those must be uh, the group that have the uh, one of the uh, groups that's bringing in uh, one of the large placards that's going to be placed in the back of the platform.
great big trailer coming along. You can hear the uh, horn in the background with a picture of uh, Otto Turner, Jack Kennedy, Paul Douglas, and uh, Dan Ward. Also, Thaddeus Odesco. We have a, a miniature uh, fire engine coming along. The 14th Ward welcomes John F. Kennedy. to mention that there are a lot of women here tonight with youngsters, some of them holding youngsters in their arms, and again, we would like to stress, stress the point that there were a lot of older folks that were standing by that were allowed to go into the stadium as early as 5.30 this evening. Another beautiful float to build as a uh, PT uh, boat with the uh, banners of all the candidates. estimated now it's estimated now that there's over 250,000 in the surrounding area of the uh, Chicago Stadium and the parade still coming uh, from downtown Chicago some of the floats haven't even uh, pulled into the uh, line of march here goes a beautiful float with the key to the 60s float that uh, must stretch a good 60 feet as you can probably see coming onto the screen now representing the 16th Ward in the heart of Chicago a picture of Jack Kennedy a sign for uh, Dan Ward and Otto Kerner some people are pushing baby buggies some are driving, uh, riding bicycles. Here comes a, you can see that the little uh, chicken house and it says security with Kennedy. Save America, vote Democratic. Here comes a, uh, another beautiful float with all the flags of all the nations and the American flag up in the uh, center. Some of these girls are very beautiful that we're seeing on the floats. It's very enjoyable to see the very lovely girls that are volunteering for these floats and for this type of work this evening. As a matter of fact, everyone that's in the uh, parade tonight uh, certainly deserves a lot of credit because the rain has been falling. It's been falling heavy here uh, around the Chicago Stadium and in Chicago for the last uh, four and a half hours.
coming down the street playing. Happy days are here again, and we might as well in invite one of the fans in who's watching the parade. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Theodore Jones. Where are you from, Mr. Jones? Oh, I'm here from Chicago. What part of Chicago do you live in? Uh, in Hyde Park. How do you like this parade and this salute to uh, uh, Jack? Oh, it's a wonderful parade. It's a great salute to a great candidate. Great candidate. How long have you been in the uh, line of march? Well, I just came in this afternoon from Dayton. I came in here especially to see this and witness it tonight. And there's, how do you like the way that the uh, the fans have turned out? Isn't this really something? Well, it's a wonderful, wonderful, a wonderful evening. Uh, with the exception of a little bit of rain, of course, that rain brings very democratic weather. Well, all of these people here are for Kennedy. That's certainly obvious. Uh, I'm for him, uh, as you know, because of the platform of the Democratic Party. I think it's more responsive to the needs and interests of the vast majority of the American people. And second, uh, I'm for him uh, because uh, we've got some very serious domestic problems here that have impact uh, in our foreign relations, and we need the kind of leadership uh, that he can give and that he's giving us. Uh, only this uh, this week he announced a program, uh, a uh, forces for peace, volunteers uh, for peace, uh, to give aid and assistance to the uh, undeveloped, the underdeveloped and uncommitted nations of the world in Asia and in Africa, uh, a uh, force of volunteers which would uh, uh, really demonstrate uh, all over the world the kind of program with our hearts as well as our dollars what we're standing for. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, now we'll get back out to the parade area again of which you're viewing now on your screen. We see a... Uh, the 11th Ward of Chicago now is coming down with a beautiful, uh, a beautiful uh, boat. The 11th Ward organization. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, float. The 11th Ward, by the way, is the home ward of uh, our mayor, uh, Mayor Daley. The enthusiasm here with this group tonight is certainly something that we have never seen before around uh, Chicago. And having uh, announced a lot of parades here in Chicago, I want to say, on my own behalf, this is one of the greatest. Here we see a lot of cooks and bakers now. The, the cooks and bakers welcome Jack. This is, ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, uh, we'll go inside of the Chicago Stadium for the greatest rally in America to hear Senator John Kennedy. Stay tuned to this station. Now we're going back out to the, the band. This is the 11th Ward band coming up with signs, of course, saying, we welcome Kennedy. You have just heard a broadcast sponsored by the Democratic Party of Cook County, Illinois, on behalf of Kennedy and Johnson. Chet Huntley and David Brinkley with the clearest and quickest election night results on the network more people watch for news, NBC.